everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you what's inside the kids christmas stockings well they're not actually stockings they're more just like sacks and i got these from poundland i thought these were a great idea instead of having a stocking just have like a big bag you can put everything in the stockings are lovely and they look really nice but sometimes i find that you don't actually get a lot of space to put things in so you're quite restricted so i thought these bags would be really good plus i've not really got anywhere to hang a stocking either so these can just get thrown in their room the night before if you're new to my channel then my name's ash i've got a daughter who is two and her name's ella and i've got a son charlie who is 10 months old and yes two of their stockings are very different this year Ella's cost a bit more than Charlie's did because I found it really difficult to find baby things but I'm just going to get stuck in and show you what I got but if you're new to my channel I would love if you subscribe and stick around for more videos in the future because tomorrow's video is going to be what is inside their Christmas Eve box so yeah let's just get cracking now in Ella's box I've got quite a few good toys now this one is from Pound World and it's like Busby the program the Busby Bee so this is like a little room set up you can get lots of different ones but I think she would like this one the best because it's got like a little aeroplane a little train and it's also got his little teddy bear as well but a lovely big toy for inside the stocking to fill it out the next thing is really odd but it is a magnifying glass because Ella is obsessed with bugs and I got this from Home Bargains I think it was a pound or less than a pound but it's really good it's something a bit different and she really loves exploring going out walks and woods and I thought this would be really good to take with us in an ideal stocking stuffer next thing here is a slinky I don't actually think she's ever seen a slinky before so I think she's going to have lots of fun with this this was just a pound from Pound World it's the princess one the Disney princess one and I think it's got Cinderella on it and possibly the little girl from Tangled. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. You can get lots of different types of these as well, which is great, and it's only just a pound. I don't know about you guys with your kids, but my one definitely loves surprises. So she really loves these little blind bags because she doesn't know what she's getting and it's a bit of a surprise. So I got this one here from Poundland, and it's a Disney Princess surprise bag. It's basically one of the little blind bags, and it's a cute buildable figure inside. You can just take her hair off and change it, and there's lots of different ones to collect. So we don't know which one we've got until we open it, which is great. And anything that comes in an egg is also another favourite because she loves all that kind of like surprise opening of kind of toys and things. So I got this Hatchimals egg. Now it's not the one that actually cracks open and then you have to put in the bin. This is like a hard plastic one which I think she'll actually prefer anyway because it means she can hide it again in its little house. So I don't know which one they have again because it's a surprise. But inside there there's a little Hatchimals collectible and I think she will really enjoy that. This was from Pounds World and I think it was about four or five pounds for this and this one was just a pound but another kind of surprise egg toy it's just a trolls one inside it there's either a bracelet a clip or a ring and again she will just love that because it's the whole opening up an egg thing and still on the same kind of topic i got this pepper pig mashems ella's never had a mashems toy before but she watches them all the time on youtube like other people opening them up so this will be really good that she gets to have one herself. This was $2.99 from Amazon. I don't know if that's a normal kind of price for them. But you can get tons of different types of these for every character that your kids will like. So it's a really nice little thing to put in their stocking this year. Again, another kind of egg surprise type thing is this. Ella loves Smarties, much to my dismay because it makes them hyper and crazy. And she doesn't need any more of that. But I got this from Poundland and it's got some little surprise smarties inside there and obviously this is made of chocolate and that was just a pound and this is a bit of an odd one but Ella absolutely loves my perfume so I got this one from Zara Girl it is $6.99 and this one is Friday Forever and inside it there's a 100ml Eau de Toilette perfume she loves spraying it and it saves her using mine another little pound shop bargain was this and she loves all these kind of like squishy, really quite disgusting actually toys. So I was actually going to get her one of the little alien babies in the jelly, but I couldn't get one. So I got her this instead and it's just this little kind of like fuzzy teddy bear, which if you bang it, lights up. I don't know if you can see that that well, but it does light up and flash with a ball inside it. She will love that. Again, it was a pound and it came in lots of colours. It says it's strawberry jam, but it doesn't smell anything like strawberry jam nothing like it <laughs> on to the kind of foodie and chocolate bits i got these which are the jammy dodger ot bites she is obsessed with jammy dodgers love them to pieces so i've got five little bags in there and i thought she would really like these because she loves smarties so much i got her the pink tube of all pink smarties she'll love these plus i'm surprised these actually made it to christmas day not yet 
but they should do. I also got these little Dairy Milk Freddo faces because there's little small bags inside which is ideal and yeah can't go wrong with a bit of chocolate can you? And another bit of chocolate here is this chocolate Santa with little smaller parts of dairy milk inside. I love dairy milk chocolate, we love all chocolate in this house and I think I'll give her a hand eating these ones. And then I put two of her bigger toys in here purely because all of the other ones are wrapped and these ones arrived a little later and I think they'd be nice to have in her stocking to like open up in her room first thing so we kind of set the scene for Christmas. And the first thing is this, it's the Trolls Walkie Talkies, so we've got Poppy and Branch. These were actually from Home Bargains, 6 99 I think they were, weren't really too dear at all. But I just think she will love this, going up to her room and then talking to me on the other one. She loves Poppy and Branch loads, she actually loves Branch so much. So I thought that because it's got a Branch one, we would get both of these. So Walkie Talkies, definitely a good one. I don't know how good they are, but definitely a nice little stocking filler and not crazy expensive. And this I know is a bit kind of lavish for a stocking, but to be honest, a lot of the things that I've picked her up, I don't think are things you would just throw away. Sometimes you can spend about 20, 30 pounds on stocking stuffers and then it's all just junk. Most of the stuff we got, she's actually going to keep in use, so I feel as if the money is better spent that way. But this one I'm so excited to give her and I've actually opened this up to see what it's like and it is this. I managed to get my hands on one of these last minute. God knows how, but I did. I'm going to link it below in case Amazon have still got some. It's genuine. It's Amazon that have actually dispatched it and yeah, it's a fingerling monkey. It's just fab. I think she's going to absolutely lay an egg when she sees this on Christmas morning. It's so interactive. I'm actually going to take it out and show you what it's like. But I think YouTube is going to have so many videos of these next year. <laughs> She's going to be so excited. Okay, so that's everything that's in my two year old stocking. Now moving on to what's in my 10 month old little boy's stocking. And I've actually done quite well to get him some good stuff. The first thing I've got here is actually for his room. His room's got a bit of a cloud theme going on and I really love this as a little nightlight. So it's just this little LED cloud. It was two pounds from Poundland. I think it's lovely. And I've seen things like this on Etsy so many times that are like 15, 20 pounds. So I thought that was really nice. And they had so many other ones. I think they had a unicorn as well, which I probably should have got for Ella now that I think about it. But I got Charlie the Cloud, two pounds. I thought that was really nice. Next up, I got these little Freddo faces. Charlie's never really had much chocolate before, but I thought surely because it's Christmas, he can have a little go at a bit of this. So yeah, I've got these and I'm sure that Daddy and I and Ella will help him out with these because there is no way he will eat all of this chocolate. A lot of this is just so that it kind of like looks okay for Ella because I worry that she's going to look at his size of stocking and she's so clever that she'll realise he's got less than her and think Santa's like not brought him as much. So a lot of this is just to create the illusion and keep it going for Ella. Do you see what I mean? I've also got these little Heinz Paw Patrol peach and apricot biscuits because I think he will love these. A lot of these things are snack related and if you know Charlie you know that'll be right up his street because he is an absolute grubber. I also got these little Annabelle Carmel mini biscuits. These are the whole grain Mickey Mouse ones. Four packets and it saves me buying snacks after Christmas as well. Another Annabelle Carmel goodie are these mini crackers. These are the ones that have a hint of carrot flavour and again yeah saves me buying these snacks and Charlie will love them. He loves anything food related pretty much like his mummy and I mostly got him this for the noise because I think he'll really enjoy that but I don't think this is something he will actually eat. He would never eat many Smarties but I'm sure that this would maybe go in our fridge and I could have it or Fraser could have it but again a lot of these things are just to keep the illusion going for Ella so yeah got him this little don't even know what it is a bird a robin oh it's a robin it's got a red a red chest <laughs> These ones I think he can have just because they're smaller. So I've got these little chocolate minis. Again, he would never have a lot of this. Maybe just a little bit to try because it's a special occasion. But yeah, I've got these little Kinder chocolate minis which will have an abundance of snacks when Christmas is done. <laughs> Moving on to toys, I've got this little xylophone which I'm actually going to take out of this packet because it looks pretty naff. But this is from Poundland, it's only £1. I think he'll really enjoy that. It's got the little stick here. And yeah, any musical kind of toys I'm sure he will have lots of fun with. I also got him one of these little squishy sort of leatherette balls. This one is the Lightning McQueen one. I just like the colours on this to be honest. I actually didn't realise it was cars until I came home. And yeah, I think he'll really enjoy this before the dog gets it and probably bursts it into smithereens. 
And the last toy for Charlie is this little naughty one. I just thought this was so lovely. It's got the little character, his arms move around. It goes in the car and you pull the car back and then it goes on its own. So I thought that was really nice. This is from Home Bargains. I think it was either $3.99 or $4.99. So that's how it's kind of like a bigger toy in the stocking. But yeah, that's all of Charlie's stuff, all of Ella's stuff. I don't really know how much Charlie's came to because I kind of just grabbed things. But I think we added Ella's up and it came to about 45 or 46 pounds which does seem a lot, but a lot of those things we could have actually just wrapped for her and given it in the pile of gifts. But I thought the fingerling and everything else should have a more sort of special moment in the morning rather than just getting lost in the abyss of all the other presents. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye!